The reason why we're able to see everything around us, from our cars to our friends to the messages on our Facebook page, starts with one major thing, light. The objects around us either absorb or reflect light to varying degrees. The reflected light waves of electromagnetic energy stimulate receptors in our visual system, allowing us to perceive those objects. Here's how it works. Let's say 12-year-old Laura is playing soccer and she is looking at the ball. Light striking the soccer ball is reflected back to Laura's eye in waves, which are translated, or what is called transduced, into a neural code that our brains can understand. The visual system transduces two features of the light wave itself, the wavelength and intensity. The wavelength is the distance between successive light waves, which our visual system interprets as color. The distance from wave peak to wave peak is measured in units, called nanometers, NM, which are one billionth of a meter. If light waves are very close together, in the 400 nanometer range, we perceive the color violet. And if the waves are far apart, in the 750 nanometer range, we perceive red. And of course, wavelengths in between these two extremes allow us to perceive the range of other colors within the visible spectrum, as you can see here. Humans are able to visually detect only light waves within the visible spectrum, but we can feel the effects of ultraviolet rays, which have a wavelength of less than 400 nanometers, on our skin as sunburn. Rattlesnakes can see light in the infrared range, which is greater than 700 nanometers, helping them to identify prey. The intensity of the light waves is transduced by the visual system as brightness information. The higher the intensity of the waves, the brighter the light is perceived to be. Of course, we perceive much more than color and brightness. Complex features of our visual world are processed by the brain, not the eye. Let's continue on our journey through the visual system.